Winter's definitely here. We had the snow this morning. Now the wind and the cold wind chills we're talking about once again, and some of them won't be too pleasant uh, by morning. As we showed you earlier in the newscast, Racine had 3.7 inches of snow, the most in the area. Uh, West Dallas had just under three inches of snow. Whitewater, two and a half. So did Waukesha, Cedarburg, Mequon, and Brookfield, and Brown Deer, all about two inches of snow, as well as Milwaukee and Greendale, about an inch and a half. Roads are in great shape. There's still some snow on the grassy surfaces as the temperatures today struggled to hit freezing. Even with the sunshine out this afternoon, it stayed cold. 25. That is your current temperature in Waukesha with a westerly wind at 12. The winds are gusting between 15 and 25. They're not all that bad right now. 32 mile per hour wind in West Bend. That is creating some blowing snow, especially off of rooftops and stuff. But the winds are about to get even stronger overnight tonight. And in fact, there is a wind advisory for our northern counties of Ozaki, Washington, Dodge, Fond du Lac, Sheboygan, and up into the Fox River Valley. 11 p.m. tonight until 6 a.m. Winds gusting over 40 miles per hour. Going to be windy to the south as well, just maybe not seeing that 40 to 45 mile per hour wind gusts. We had this on Sunday as well, but we had a southeasterly breeze that created huge waves along the lakefront. Tonight's wind is out of the west, so the waves won't be on our side. They'll be on the other side of the lake. Should be much quieter at the lakefront tonight. The wind chills, not quiet. Single digits and teens. It feels like nine right now at 517 in the evening. Whew, seven in the Dells teens everywhere else. We're still seeing some flurries after the sunshine this afternoon. Clouds have moved back in flurries and scattered light snow showers around southeastern Wisconsin. Any additional accumulation tonight would just be a dusting low pressure to the north. Still kicking up some of those snow showers and bringing us that strong west to northwesterly wind overnight tonight. Could see that little shot of light snow as I mentioned just a dusting. That pushes through. It gets very windy and then the winds start to die down throughout the morning and afternoon hours tomorrow. Plenty of sunshine for tomorrow. Winds diminishing to 5 to 15 throughout the afternoon, which is more tolerable. And then another shot of light snow late tomorrow night into Sunday morning. And we we're looking for mostly cloudy conditions then on Sunday. How much snow are we talking about for these next two rounds tonight and tomorrow night? Less than a half inch here in Milwaukee, maybe an inch from West Bend, Fond du Lac, Sheboygan and Green Lake, and this will be light, fluffy stuff. It is cold all across the northern plains and the Midwest. Temperatures in the teens, 20s, and lower 30s. With that said, tonight becoming uh, mostly clear by morning after the snow moves out. 22 in Milwaukee, teens inland, and the wind chills tonight will be close to zero. 30 for your high tomorrow. That's the high. Inland areas in the 20s. And if you're going to Green Bay on Sunday, it gets a little better. Not much 32 at tailgating 36 at kickoff and 32 in dark by the end of the game. Go Packers. Here's your seven day forecast really quick. I don't know why I'm showing you this. It's going to be cold 38 Sunday 32 Monday 30 and windy for Tuesday and then a warming trend heat wave next Friday 44. That's still below normal. <laughs>